Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another video. Today we will be talking about an old leader from OPO3. We are going to talk about Iceberg, one of the <laughs> least played leaders in this whole game. But he got some pretty decent support from the Memorial Collection and I gotta say this deck feels a bit better. Now it really is fun to play and it has gotten a bit stronger. So, um, if you guys don't know what Iceberg does, he cannot attack. Sadly, this is one of his major, major problems that he cannot attack. Same as uh, Rebecca and Vivi, but they figured something out to just compensate. But he really struggled with his uh, color and with his archetype, but he got some solid standing right now. So basically, what is he doing? Um, activate main. For one down, you need to rest this leader and then you can play up to one uh, cost 5 Galilei Company character. So, um, if you look closely, you have a bit or some sort of targets for this. You can play the new EB01 Khalifa Galilei Company. You cannot play the Brueno, just keep that in mind. You have the old OP03 cards, all of them are Galilei. You have the Khalifa, you would not play Kokoro because she's a, uh, not even a Galilei as well. Um, you have the Tidestone, you have the Poly, you have the Rob Luchi card. These are your hits and you cannot play the Blueno card. This is pretty important because you cannot uh, play this card like on uh, Don Juan, play him and get something from your hand. This would be a bit too too fast and too strong. Um, he is just a Water 7 character, so you want to play Blueno from your hand, basically. But what is the plan exact, exactly in this deck? You really, really need to see the stage card. The stage card is your bread and butter. And if you have the stage card early on, this deck is like at 100% power. But if you do not see this card, you are at like 30% power because this is really hard. So. Honestly, if you play this deck, try and mulligan for the stage card or at least one of your Kokoros to try and find the stage card. It is that important because you can ramp a Dawn every turn. And the general idea is to have something like your kit early on to have a blocker if you really need it, but you need his effect. You can actually just Dawn minus something either with your effect or with the character's effects to get uh, to play Don minus one to get the Don active back and you also have the um, Galela company stage card so with kit in combination you could just Don minus two every turn and be on par with your enemy then we have some pretty strong purple cards we are playing of course the infamous poly from the water seven type you really want to have him in your deck. Three is all right, you don't really need four, um, but you really want to see something like the Hitokiri Kamazo because if you don't minus something, you can actually KO something with a cost of two. Um, this could be any baby blocker, this could be some zero cost, whatever, uh, not zero cost, um, zero power, one cost, whatever it may be. Um, this is pretty strong. This is pretty good. He is also a token counter if you don't need him. He is a 5000 power. You can actually just swing if the uh, enemy does not have any baby blockers or whatever it is. And you also have the Rejo card because you will most likely be equal or less Dawn than your opponent. So you can just draw two cards. This is pretty strong. You can swing with her. You can use her as a counter. She is really strong. Then we are playing the uh, king from the Star deck, pretty self-explanatory, amazing card, blocker and having to draw two, trash one, really, really amazing. And this also really helps if you are playing the uh, slow early game and just ramp, ramp, ramp and just play uh, small cards or don't even use his effect that often, you are going to get to nine pretty fast. And you can just play the Kaido down, get a blocker down, and then him having rush, get another character down. So Kaido really helps you in the mid game or in the late game. Uh, he is, I really like him in the mid game to get rid of a blocker or another threat character with a cost of six maximum. 
uh, and then him having the rush 10,000 power on another rested character. So with Kaido, if you're being uh, patient enough and uh, you can actually just get rid of two characters. This is really strong, he helps you to control the board and this is basically it guys for the deck. You are really trying to spam your board with the Iceberg from your hand. You can play the Blueno to get something from your hand or your trash, keep that in mind. And with the new Khalifa card, you can just bring back your forecast. This also includes something like the Hitokiri or the Reju because the card says return up to two cost four or less characters, not uh, arch type specific cards. So you can just bring back the Hitokiri, you can bring back the Reju and you can also bring back your Tuke Kanda Khalifa and the Blueno. So you have a lot of good targets for this and I will just play some gameplay for you guys right now. Alright guys, we are playing against the blue and yellow ace from the Free Brothers starter deck. I think that I really want to go second against this deck. Uh, I would really love to see some stage card at the beginning. The Khalifa is nice, Tilestone is alright, but I would really love to see the stage card. Yes, yes, this is really, really good. We can actually, hmm, wait, let me think. We could actually just summon the Rablucci now or the Poly. I mean, do I need his KO effect with a cost of four? He plays the, the baby brothers and then the big brothers. They are all a five cost, so I don't really need the on KO effect. I could just play the, the Poly right now. He is also a non counter. And I could play the Rob Lucci anytime else. I think that this is going to be the case right now. And I'm going to end my turn. Next turn we have three. Then we can play the stage card and then continue with this. So let's see what he will be doing. Most likely playing something like Sanji's Pilaf or maybe searching something. I don't think that he should play a, a baby brother right now. I mean, he could just swing, honestly. I will take it but with the blue and yellow ace you really want to be consistent and have a lot of hand cards this is why you play cards like Sanji's Pilaf and the uh, Flampe from EVO1 Man, he could search something and then get it with the Flampe but I'm not quite sure what he is trying to figure out right now I mean, gambling right now for the uh, searcher effect is pretty bad because he cannot guarantee to actually pick no cards to draw. Mm. This happens. This happens. Go for face. This is all right. Now we are at three. We will play our stage card. Actually use the effect. Now we could play the Rabluchi down. We could play the Rabluchi down and then maybe get next turn Blueno for the Khalifa. Let's see, let's see. I think that we should now play the Blueno and attack with our Poly. He will most likely counter out of this or take it. Depending on what he has in hand. I think he was prepared to get something with the Flampe. Maybe he has just a regular 5 cost 2k counter like Satori or Tsuru or Yamato. He takes it. I think that this is a pretty good choice. So let's see, let's see. We have the Rabluchi on board. We could actually just rest something. Now he will search, which is okay. He could actually just find something, play the baby version right now. This is okay. We are at free dawn. Oh, what is he doing? Why would you do this? I mean, I mean, he can just put down a trigger, but you really should use the Hiorit to actually place another brother at the top to actually summon him. Um, this is not optimal what he's doing 
honestly. But I'm not going to waste so much counter for this. So I'm gonna take it. This does hurt a bit, but I need my cards. So we are now at five. I think the most uh, the most logical thing would be to play down the kit. To play down the kit and then get a down back to actually play one of our characters for free and then we can swing so we should play the kid right now activate his effect then we should we should what should we do i think that we could do we need another poly to rest a four cost i'm not quite sure i really am not sure so just play him get the dumb back attach uh this later on we should not rest anything so we are just going six for face straight <clears throat> pardon me he does counter with machino okay and now we can just swing for seven he will most likely take it i mean maybe he's going to block it if this is a certain brother he does not he just placed this card at the <laughs> top of his life with Hiyori and now has it back again I mean I mean most likely he's just trying to stack out or maybe he's just having really bad luck so what is he finding pick no cards to draw I mean I would love to see his deck list honestly because there should be a lot of 5 costs in this deck. x -Drake, why would you play this card? This is pretty ex experimental, I gotta say. I mean, he's going to swing now with 7. We can block this easily with Kit. Only using 1 2k counter. He does not have anything else. Yeah, yeah, we are just going to block this with 8. Thank you. So, we could get rid of his blocker to swing a bit. We would actually get one down back. This costs 5. We can actually... Mm, we could also play... Nah, Bueno would not be good. Because we actually need more space to play something. Uh, if I use 5 done now, I will get 4 back. I could play Bueno, but I... Hmm, maybe I play it just for the sake of having a 5th character. I guess that this, sh this would be not too bad. Okay, we can KO... Wow one of his characters get a done bag hmm do I swing with three characters I think that this would be even more even more worth so everyone gets one and the last one gets two so basically this would look something like this let's go seven face He is thinking, he really is thinking. He has seven cards in hand, most likely could be doing anything. Countering out of this. All right, let's make this also a seven face. He takes it and now we can go eight for face. We do not need to use his effect. I could have used his effect to actually rest the uh, extract, but getting rid of him completely to be able to go to face. My god, what is he? Why would you do? Okay, okay. I am not going to say anything, but this does not look really good for my opponent right now. He's playing one ace down, having rush. Mm -hmm. 8k swing at 
my Rob Lucci. Uh, I would need to invest three counters. Hmm. I mean, he can only really attack with eight with his leader again, so most likely. This hurts, but I have to let him go. He goes six, now I will block this as well. Uh, I think I could actually counter with this to get him back later on. Okay, another blocker, this is all right. So, we have three swings, but he has one blocker and one hand cards, reordered life. I mean, all right. I think that we should play down the Khalifa to get something back. Mm. Oh, we can't. I only can get the Hitokiri back. Damn. Because they are five cost. Mm. Then I should probably play the Bueno to get my Rabluchi back. And then I should try to get rid of his Ace. This would be the best thing to do. Alright, let's play him. Then play the Rabluchi back again. Now we should... What should we be doing? Um, I mean, I could... Hmm. I could swing with the Polly with one of them. And then just try to get rid of them to play a Tilestone to have active characters. But I would lose counter power. I think that this is not ideal. So he is a 6 cost with a blocker. Let's just try and do something like this. He will either let Ace go or block with Viola. A 2k counter would not be enough. He does not block. He lets go of Ace. All right. I mean, I do not need the Dawn. I just cannot use them. The only thing, the only thing. I could maybe replace the Bueno for the Khalifa and then get him and the Hitokiri back. I would lose to Dawn, but I'm at 10. This is not so bad. I would get some counter power back. Hmm, do I do it? I should attack naked with it. Oh no, she's a 5 cost. Never mind. Never mind. I cannot do this. Um, just go straight for face. Alright, he has just two life left, nothing on the board, one card. Um, this is this is pretty much over. I did not want to play her with the iceberg ability. Alright. Nah, I will just keep this for whatever he is going to play. A blocker, alright. He goes seven. I will counter this with Bueno and Tidestone. And he will probably play another Rush Ace. Yes, but this is no big deal. He would just take one of these. I guess. This is all right with me. He has two life left. I can, I mean, this is more than over. Uh, he has no hand card, so I can just go with five. He has to take it. Then I can go with uh, place up to one of. Oh, jeez. No problem. This is also pretty easy because I can just attack with 
6 again, he has to take it. And now we have all of our dawn open. He has nothing left. And ultimate finish! Well, I think he did make some misplays. Maybe he just had a bad hand, but uh, he had some pressure at the later part of the game. But as you guys saw, uh, the deck was really strong. I always had a full board. I mean, this would look a bit different against black or against red with a lot of rush. Hmm. But it's alright. It's okay. Okay, guys, we are playing against Anel. Let's see how this matchup will feel like. Uh, the same problem as always. I really want to stage in my first hand. This is meh. This is meh. Uh, with Kokoro, it's okay. Maybe we can find this. Oh, jeez. This is what we like to see. So let's play Kokoro either way. We can only get the Khalifa, sadly, but it's all right. The Kaido bottom deck feels a bit <laughs> bad, but we just have to ignore this. So we can now play either the Rabluchi or the Tilestone. What would be better? Early on, we don't really need the effect. He should not be able to get rid of him unless he plays something like get that but then the tile stone will be better so we do not need to risk it just play the tile stone and we can let him do his thing now all right he is not free done he could he could do anything honestly he is going to swing with six uh, i'm going to take it to just be a bit safer from Gedatsu if he has one. Tishira Hoshi, alright. We are going to play the stage card, ramp a bit, and then we should play something like. Do I want the Khalifa card? I think I actually want the Rabluchi, and I'm going to swing with six on life. I honestly have no problem to get rid of Shirohoshi with an card effect, for example with the Hitokiri, I really don't mind, um, because this is just an unnecessary blocker and it's just going to be uh, a bit annoying. Um, next turn I have 5 ton, I would most likely play the Hitokiri, then have possibility to play Khalifa so I should I will counter with this because I'm going to get grab her back so we're now at five we are actually going to play the Hitokiri then we are going to ramp once then we are going to return this and play the first of all let's make his effect yeah yeah um, I'm getting something from my trash sure why not let's just grab her back we really need her now we can this is six this is six uh, let's just go with this effect six for face and now we can go seven with face we are pretty much spamming our bot right here. We have some good attack potential. He got a trigger. Is he going to play it? What is he going to pl to play to do? A lot of Shirahoshis. What is this? K up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost equal to or less. All right. Uh, he took the Hitokiri. Was pretty much the only valid target. I mean, <laughs> Kokoro would have been pretty funny. Uh, this hurts a bit, but it's all right. Uh, let's just give him his turn. He is at five. We are at four. Nah, he's at seven. My bad. He's at seven, but we will ramp up pretty quickly. We have the Ragnarok. We could get rid of something bad. We could also just keep it. He will most likely have something like Katakuri. Uh, nah, we are going to block this definitely. With five, what is he going to play? The rush ace. Uh, I could honestly just counter it. K 
Okay. I could just try and get rid of the ace to have a turn to just uh, refresh my dance to get something more back because we're now at seven then would we would be at nine next turn i win why i mean this was not over honestly he had the amaru at the bottom i mean what did he have he would be at nine he had the katakuri i we would ko it then play something flood the board having a lot of more pressure i mean i mean we would most likely win but well this is it basically guys um this is like one and a half of the iceberg games but as you guys can see this deck is pretty annoying and nl saying this from an nl opponent player he had not the nerves to play against us um yeah, I mean, he, he just thought that I have something like the, where is he, Kaido in my hand to just pop anything. I mean, I could not uh, pop the Katakuri with the with the uh, Kaido, I would have played the Ragnarok, but I think he knew that and he just decided to save some time. I guess we would have won, I'm not quite sure, but you guys saw the potential of the deck. I really like it and I enjoy playing Iceberg as of right now, so... If you guys enjoyed this video, please uh, leave a like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.